Matt Hamilton, who used to be a top official at Ripple, made a big announcement on May 3rd, 2023. He talked about how Ripple is working on making a special XRP system for digital currencies issued by central banks. Hamilton talked about how crypto companies are now working to improve a private version of the XRP system for digital currencies backed by the government. He used to be the head of developer relations at Ripple, so what he said was important. But there were questions. Did the value of XRP on this secret record match what people thought it was worth? It could have been something else. A well-known venture capitalist firm called Black Swan Capitalist said they had seen this secret ledger. They even put up pictures of XRP's unbelievable $327,000 price on this hard-to-find app, which started a tornado of rumors. As always, welcome back to Coins Alert, the place to go for all things XRP. If you're new, don't forget to click subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all of our XRP talks. Having fun with my stuff? Give that thumbs up some love and let us know what you think in the comments. This news caused a huge debate about how much XRP really costs on this private form and even whether the ledger exists at all. But this is where the story gets more complicated. We just now found a podcast piece that talked about the Republic of Palo. What does this matter? It's important to remember that Ripple and the Republic have worked together before, especially when they led the world's first stablecoin trial built on the XRP ledger. Theoretically, these parties should know about the XRP price on this mysterious ledger and other information about it. We solved this puzzle in today's episode. Get ready to see a video with the finance minister of the Republic of Palo in it. Hold on tight because he's about to go into a lot of detail about the fight over public VS, private ledgers, the basis for their stablecoin, and what XRP will be worth in the future. Let's watch the clip right away. The public XRP system was our choice. Mostly because it is clear it has always been very important for us to be clear about our goals and ongoing projects. The trip has been worth it so far. It's groundbreaking work, a test, an experiment, even though there are some problems. Ripple's help has been very important in getting past these problems. At the end of the video, it's clear that the Republic of Palo's finance office puts a lot of value on the public ledger because it is open to everyone. But their statement doesn't say for sure or not that there is a secret ledger, leaving the door open for what might happen. A lot of people are interested in how much XRP is on this rumored secret ledger. We got a short piece of audio from another show, which we will play soon. This will show how much XRP is worth on this secret site for speculation. A common idea says that the public and private ledgers might eventually come together. If this is true, it could mean that their prices are the same, which would give us an average. But this is still just a guess until there is strong proof. David Short, who most people know as Ripple CTO, um, was there when these talks took place. Let us look into the XRP secret ledger to find out what the expected price is. Of course, it's not set in stone, but it gives you an idea of how much the secret ledger might value XRP. I already said it, but I'll say it again. You can keep your own journal because it is so complicated. It's not something that appeared out of nowhere. This is something I saw for myself on a live YouTube video from Japan. From that five minute clip, we also learned that there is a public record. Now comes the real test. How do they tell the difference between notes on the public and secret ledgers for XRP? It's impossible to say enough about how hard this job is. In all of these details, let's not lose sight of my main point. There will come a time when the lines between private and public ledgers become less clear. There will soon be a merger. But before that day comes, we need strong, clear rules. This makes sure there is no confusion when they work together in the future. From what I can tell, this secret ledger is still just being tested. A big twist has been added to this story by the Bank of Japan, known as SBI as well. They just recently said they were going to start lending XRP. This is a big deal. It clearly shows that big names in the business world are very interested in XRP. The bank's plan to use XRP for institutional transactions is emphasized by the start of this new lending service. This also makes me wonder why Japan would start lending XRP if they don't think the coin will play a big role in the future. When you think about the Bank of Japan's strategic move, the point of view I'm putting forward becomes really convincing. They're now lending XRP after doing a lot of tests to make sure that both individuals and institutions want it. It's not just a loaning thing, it's a smart move by banks to take advantage of the new Bitcoin trend. XRP is interesting for more than just its potential value. Large-scale cross-border transactions between businesses and customers look like they will work well with this tool. A big paradigm change is happening right now. Financial institutions do not only hold XRP, they're putting it into practical utility projects so that it can be used for easy transfers within institutions and payments across borders. We're not just seeing this happen in Japan. Global banking giants are getting together. One example is how Ripple and MasterCard have made their relationship official. MasterCard does a lot more than just make cards. It handles a huge number of payments and has a huge network of other companies that work with it. 
with this relationship, Ripple isn't just linking up with MasterCard's main business unit, Bun, but also all of its many companies, such as Fluency, Consensus, Yaisak, Davareth, and many more that I haven't even thought of. Working together doesn't just mean that they agree with each other. It emphasizes liquidity and the size that could be possible. And there, a lot of talk, which wasn't without basis, suggested that MasterCard's partnership with Ripple had one clear strategy goal to use Ripple as a main payment method from the start. To be clear, what I'm about to say is guesswork or theory. I am giving you all the parts and pieces and the news, information, and buzz going around. Please keep in mind that my idea of why MasterCard might have teamed up with XRP is just that an idea. They did work together with Ripple. This is also a known fact Ripplenet's architecture uses on-demand liquidity, which is mostly driven by the XRP cryptocurrency and its ledger. This means that if they use Ripplenet, they are automatically using XRP. In that case, a if MasterCard decides to let people pay with Ripplenet, they will automatically use the XRP system. Even though this is just a guess, it shows how important such a relationship could be and what it might mean. Please keep in mind that I'm not a licensed financial manager. The information in these movies is only meant to be entertaining. Before making any financial decisions, I always tell my viewers to do their own study and talk to professionals. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to hit the follow button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you turn on alerts so you know right away when I post something new. In the next movie, I can't wait to catch up with you. Be careful. You.